Hi, my name is Dr. Allison Wiedenheft, and I'm the Biologics Coordinator for NOMS. Thank you for helping with the NOMS Sheep 2024 study. This recording will review the blood and swab kit contents, demonstrate sample collection, and go over shipment procedures. The blood samples collected in the Tiger Top tubes, also known as serum separator tubes or SST, and Purple Top EDTA tubes will be stored and used for future research that will benefit the sheep industry. Use that have blood samples collected can also have interdigital swab samples collected. These swabs will be tested with a PCR to detect the presence of bacteria that cause foot rot, and these results will be sent to all participants. Our number one priority at NOMS is to ensure that you and the sheep are safe. If you or the producer are not comfortable collecting from a specific sheep, then do not collect the sample. To minimize repeat handling and animal stress, it is recommended you collect all needed samples from one animal before moving on to the next animal. Paperwork in the kit includes kit instructions, a submission form, labels for each sample type, no cards to label photographs, and a shipping air bill. This kit contains 25 8.5 milliliter tiger top tubes and 15 10 milliliter purple top tubes, both in a tube divider box, 30 18 gauge 1.5 inch vacutainer needles, and three vacutainer holders. Supplies included for interdigital swab sampling include 25 snap top plastic tubes, 25 packages of cotton swabs, 25 tongue depressors to clean the interdigital space, and a Ziploc bag. The kit also includes two liner bags, one that can be used for trash, two ice packs, two absorbent sheets, a pin, a star set marker that can be used for tube labeling, and a large insulated cooler. Samples can be collected any day of the week, but samples can only be shipped Sunday through Wednesday. Keep samples cool in a refrigerator until the next shipping day. If possible, clotted blood samples and the tiger top tubes should be spun down. Collect blood from ewes that are at least 15 months of age. They can be pregnant if the producer is comfortable with the sampling. For the tiger top tubes, collect from a maximum of 25 ewes. If the operation has 1 to 19 ewes, then sample all ewes. If the operation has 20 to 49 ewes, then sample 20 ewes. If there are 50 or more ewes on the operation, then collect the maximum number of samples permitted. Collect the purple top tubes immediately after the tiger top tube collection. Collect up to 15 purple top tubes from ewes that have blood collected using the tiger top tubes. When collecting blood, always use a clean needle for each animal sampled. If collecting both blood tube types from an animal, please collect the sample in the tiger top tube first and then the purple top tube. This will help prevent contamination of the tiger top tube with the EDTA coagulant found in the purple top tube. Once the sheep is restrained, turn the head of the sheep to the opposite side that you will be collecting at about a 30 degree angle by holding the animal under the jaw. This will allow for easier access to the vein. One method to locate the vein is to visualize an imaginary line from the middle of the ewe's eye down the side of her neck. Then apply pressure to the groove on the side of the trachea towards the base of the neck. This can be done with your hand, or you may choose to use rubber tubing that can be tied off, such as an old bike tire tube. The pressure will cause the vein to pop up so that it can be felt between the wool. With the hand that is not applying pressure, insert the needle attached to the vacutainer. Apply enough pressure to break through the skin and enter the jugular vein. When you are confident that you are in the vein, push the tiger top tube into the vacutainer. Once the tiger top tube is full, pull it off and if applicable, place the purple top tube into the vacutainer. Once both tubes are filled, remove the needle and apply pressure over the area where the needle was inserted. Use the pre-printed red labels numbered 1A through 25A to label the tiger top tube samples. Use the pre-printed purple labels numbered 1B through 15B to label the purple top tube samples. Confirm the kit number on the label matches the kit number on the shipping box. Using the star stud marker, Write the sheep name or ID on the label. The sheep name or ID will be used on the producer report and can be anything the producer wants. Make sure the labels are secure on the tubes and place the filled tubes into the tube divider box in numerical order. Those sheep that had their blood drawn can submit an interdigital swab sample to look for lameness pathogens. The best way to swab the interdigital space is to place the sheep in a sitting position. We recommend viewing the sheep restraint video on our website. Once properly restrained, remove any mud and debris from the interdigital space with the tongue depressor. Use a clean tongue depressor for each sheep. Using one swab, swab the interdigital skin of at least two feet per ewe. Vigorously rub the cut swab back and forth in the interdigital space. 
If lameness or foot rot is suspected, be sure to swab the suspected foot. As you swab, please collect photographs of all feet that have any signs of lameness or foot rot and collect up to five images of healthy feet. To help identify the sheep in the photograph, please fill out the card provided in the kit and place the card in the photograph near the foot. These photographs will be used to build a database of hoof disease in sheep. Once a used feet are swabbed, insert the swab into a plastic tube, breaking off the stick inside the tube. Again, you are only using one swab per U. Close the plastic tube. Use the pre-printed blue swab labels numbered 1C through 25C to label the plastic swab tube. Using the star set marker, write the sheep name or ID on each label. Make sure the labels are secure on the tubes. Place the swab tubes in the gallon size Ziploc bag. Fill out the pink NOMS blood and swab submission form. This form asks for the NOMS ID, date, kit ID, and the number of samples submitted. Be sure to include this form with the samples when packing the kit for shipping. A digital collection record is required for each operation. Please review the digital collection record video for detailed instructions. It is important to keep the blood and swab samples cool. If immediate shipping is not possible, then please store them in a refrigerator until they can be shipped. Ship on Sunday through Wednesday. The ice pack must be frozen 24 hours ahead of time. Do not freeze the samples. Insert the ice pack into the bottom of the cooler. Leave the small absorbent sheet in the cooler to absorb any potential leaks. Place the blood tube box in the Ziploc bag of swab tubes into the liner bag and tie the bag shut. Then place the liner bag with the samples into the insulated shipping box. Add a second frozen ice pack to the top of the box. Add filler to the box if necessary. Close the insulated cooler box. Place the filled out pink blood and swab submission form on top of the cooler lid and seal the cardboard box. Attach the shipping label addressed in VSL onto the outside of the shipping box and drop the box off at a FedEx location. My email address is included in the kit paperwork. Feel free to email me any sampling questions. Testing results will be returned two to three months after sampling.